Section twenty eight of Poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. A Daydream by Emily Bronte. On a sunny brae alone I lay, one summer afternoon. It was the marriage time of May, with her young lover, June. From her mother's heart seemed loath to part that queen of bridal charms. But her father smiled on the fairest child he ever held in his arms. The trees did wave their plumy crests, the glad birds carolled clear. And I, of all the wedding guests, was only sullen there. There was not one but wished to shun my aspect void of cheer. The very grey rocks looking on asked, what do you hear? And I could utter no reply, in sooth I did not know, why I had brought a clouded eye to greet the general glow. So resting on a heathy bank, I took my heart to me, and we together sadly sank into a reverie. We thought, when winter comes again, where will these bright things be? All vanished like a vision vain, an unreal mockery. The birds that now so blithely sing through deserts frozen dry, poor spectres of the perished spring, in famished troops will fly. And why should we be glad at all? The leaf is hardly green, before a token of its fall is on the surface seen. Now whether it were really so I never could be sure, but as in fit of peevish woe I stretched me on the moor. A thousand thousand gleaming fires seemed kindling in the air, A thousand thousand silvery lyres resounded far and near. Methought the very breath I breathed was full of sparks divine, And all my heather couch was wreathed by that celestial shine. And while the wide earth echoing rung to that strange minstrelsy, The little glittering spirits sung, or seemed to sing, to me. O oh, mortal, mortal, let them die, let time and tears destroy, that we may overflow the sky with universal joy. Let grief distract the sufferer's breast, and night obscure his way. They hasten him to endless rest and everlasting day. To thee the world is like a tomb, a desert's naked shore. To us, in unimagined bloom, it brightens more and more. And could we lift the veil, and give one brief glimpse to thine eye, Thou wouldst rejoice for those that live, because they live to die. The music ceased, the noonday dream like dream of night withdrew. But fancy still will sometimes deem her fond creation true. End of section 28